I have these suicidal thoughts. I don't know why I do this. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I wake up grumpy. I don't know why I stay grumpy all day. I don't know why I go to bed grumpy. I'll tell you why. Because you allow the devil to steal your dream. That's why. Don't be patty cake. It's not praise and praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil steal your dream. Religious. Religion can be very dangerous. See, I'm not religious. Amen? Amen. I'm born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'm a Christian that loves Jesus. Religion will kill you. It's a letter of the law in many cases. Amen? Amen. It makes you bitter. It makes you sour. It makes you self-righteous. makes you grumpy. No dream in religion. We're talking about Christianity here. We're talking about a, a risen Savior. Hallelujah. Dreams, your mind and heart should be filled with dreams. I don't care. We already see it. It doesn't matter the circumstance. It doesn't matter the situation. It don't matter if you're in a dungeon. It don't matter if you're in a prison. It don't matter if you're in the pit. What matters is you don't lose your dream and you use it for the glory of God where you're at, when you're there, and God will honor it and prosper it and bless it and multiply it. For your good and His glory. That's what a dream does. Amen. Things don't have to be perfect for you to have a dream. You'll never have a dream. Well, this has got to be done. That's got to be lined up. We've got to have plenty of money. We've got to have a lot of advertisement. We've got to just go dream. Go be a soul winner. Be conscious of souls. Be conscious of the loss. Be conscious of the bleeding and the hurting. Amen? Amen. That's a dream right there. Amen. He that winneth souls is wise. What are you doing on your job? Mm -hmm. What are you doing in your workplace? What are you doing in the school? What are you doing in the supermarkets? What are you doing in all these places that you go every day, day in and day out, where you buy your gas, where you do your shopping? Do they know you're a Christian? They know you're a dreamer? Mm. They should. Amen. Are you embarrassed? Are you ashamed of the gospel? Hmm. The Bible said we're not supposed to be ashamed of the gospel because it's the power unto salvation to them that believe. Amen? Amen. Amen? Hallelujah. Just make sure that your dream is not all about you. Make sure your dream is about everybody else but you. And God will make sure that you can share in that dream. Amen. 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 you got to be unselfish. Uh, you can't be self-centered. Amen? Come on. Amen. And one thing that will kill a dream and will never get off the ground is pride. Mm -hmm. Pride. God's looking for humility. Mm -hmm. Amen? Humbleness. Mm -hmm. And if you got that going for you, you're halfway there. God will elevate you. He'll lift you up. Because after all, He wants you to fulfill the dream that He put in your spirit. In your spirit. Every one of you. I don't care who you are, what your position is. If you're born again, you ought to have a dream. Mm -hmm. Say, well, Pastor, I had one once. Get it back. Take it back. The violent take it by force, the Bible Amen. said. You just got to fight for it sometimes. Mm -hmm. You let the devil take it from you, steal it from you, lie it away from you. Get it back. Say, well, I really never had a dream. Get one. Because you're dead inside without a dream. Without a desire for the glory of God. You're dead. You're just existing. You wake up. You do the same thing. You go to bed. You get up. You do the same thing. Over and over and over. A dream can change all that. A dream can change. I'm not saying you've got to go so far out of the box. Just move a little. Amen. And watch and see what the Lord will do. A little in the hand of God goes a long, long way. But you've got to give Him a little. You've got to give Him a little. And you know what? When I look around this congregation, I thank God I see a lot of faces that have dreams. I just want to encourage you to keep dreaming. And for you that have your dreams stolen or put on hold or maybe it's in the ash pile, woo, we got a verse for you. Amen? We got a verse for you. Praise the Lord. The Bible talks about it in Isaiah chapter 61, part of verse 3. It says, God will give you Beauty for your ashes. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you feel like you're crashed and burned. Your dream crashed and burned. You're just muddling through. Just trying to survive. Trying to get by. God's better than that. You're better than that. God's bigger than that. 
Let them be bigger in you. It ain't about survival. It's about conquering. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the Bible, don't look at me like that. Then the Bible says you're more than conquerors, but through Christ Jesus that strengthens you. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Then it goes on to say that He will give you the oil of joy for mourning. Some of you have been mourning over your dead dream too long. Jealous of others that are fulfilling their dream in Christ. While you're being passed by. Do it right. Humble yourself. Be meek. Take the lowly place. Let Him exalt you. And your dream will be resurrected. And you can be happy. And joyful. And have the joy. Hallelujah. The oil of joy. Instead of a spirit of always grieving and mourning and being depressed and sad and all these things that you don't have no business being in the first place. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Whose report are you going to believe? You're going to believe the report of a doctor, a lawyer, or what? Or the report of the Lord, the Word of God. Word of God. Hallelujah. Word of God. That's what it takes. It takes faith. You can't even begin to have a dream without faith. You can't even begin to do anything for the Lord properly without faith in Him, trusting Him, knowing that He is the captain of your soul. Amen. He's running this ship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then it goes on to say, He'll give you the <clears throat> garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Are you heavy today? Have you been walking around life just heavy laden, burdened? Feel overwhelmed. Pressure's got to you. You don't feel no joy, no peace. You're just hoping, oh, Jesus, hopefully come today, Lord. I do too, but it's not because I can't hang on. Because I long to be in heaven. If it's perfect timing, then come, Lord Jesus. But if there's still more work to do, let me do it joyfully. Amen. Amen. Let me do it triumphantly. Yes. Let me do it with the joy of the Lord that is my strength. Let me put on the garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. Amen. So what's that tell you? That tells me that God don't want you sitting in the ash pile. God don't want you mourning. And God don't want you to wear the garment of heaviness. That's what it tells you. So resurrect yourself. Resurrect your dream. Resurrect your life. Resurrect your love for Christ maybe. Maybe that's what needs to be done. What does he say? Come back to your first love. Do your first works all over again. That's what he wants you to do if you need to. And if you're on target, you ought to be shouting, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! Praise the Lord! Amen! I got my dream. It's, it's intact. It's well. I'm doing fine. Glory be to God! Jesus. But guess what? One day, hmm, what we've all, as true Christians, have been waiting for, that final dream is about to happen. For all of us, that final dream is about to take place. It's called the rapture. Hallelujah! Keep dreaming, church. Keep dreaming. Amen. Work your way through. Fight your way through. Do whatever you have to do to get through in the name of Jesus because He's coming soon and you will not regret it. Hallelujah. That you dare to dream a dream. Amen. Just watch out for the dream killers. Dream makers and dream takers. Remember, watch out for the dream killers. Watch out for the devil and watch out for a jealous people. Amen? Amen. Let's, stand, let's stand as we close in a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Ooh. Ooh. Can't dream a dream without being born again, without being in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We always like to give an altar call at the end of our services. Because we don't know who's listening or who's maybe backslidden, who's lukewarm, or who allowed their dream to die. And this altar call always involves the soul, the mind, the body, the spirit, every area of our life. Because Christ is concerned about every area of your life. Just surrender it to Him. He can do a better job with your life than you can. Amen? Amen? You do your best, God will do the rest. Amen. Amen.
But today, maybe there's somebody listening that they can't, they don't have a dream because they don't have a Savior. They're not born again of the Spirit of God. They're still locked in bondage in their, in their sins. They can't have the joy of the Lord and the oil of joy for their mourning. They're still mourning because they're not saved. That's who we want to approach to today. And that's what every believer here today should be praying for. Lord, touch those that are listening. Amen. We may never see them until we get to heaven because we're on the other side of that camera. But God can do anything. If He can work in the pit and He can work in a prison, He can work through the internet. Amen? Amen. Amen. And don't kid yourself. God's dealing with hearts even in this place today. Amen. So while your heads are bowed, eyes are closed, if you need to pray this prayer of salvation or rededication or God resurrect my dream, let's pray it together. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I'm coming in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I, ask you, Lord, I ask you, Lord, save my soul, save my soul. and make me whole. And make me Lord Jesus, Jesus, forgive all my sins sins. come into my heart. heart. And thank you, Lord, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. Lord, forgive me for allowing my dream dream to be stolen stolen. or to be in the ash pile. pile. Today, I ask you you to help me to to resurrect my dream. dream. That I can dream the dream of souls being saved, souls being saved. Bodies, being bodies being healed, people being delivered, people being delivered. From, the from the grip of Satan and his dark kingdom. Father God, I thank you God, right thank now in Jesus' name right now, Jesus. for making me whole. When I leave this place today, let me be a dream maker, not a dream taker. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can we praise Him? Praise Him for the dream that's placing in your heart right now. Praise Him for the dream that's coming alive in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. God bless you, your food and fellowship.